In this week's episode, I talk about one of the greatest seasons of them all. I share some quick thoughts on a new social network, and I share a comedy classic. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. It's baseball season, one of the greatest seasons of them all. There are so many ways to enjoy the sport of baseball, little league, high school, college, minor and major leagues. And yes, I would even include the great sports of fast and slow pitch softball. I make no secret about it, I love baseball. (laughs) No, I'm not one of those fans that memorize every statistic, knows every player, and can recite the rule book chapter and verse. I don't even play fantasy baseball. I just enjoy the sport. One of the things I enjoy most is baseball radio. To me, there's nothing like listening to a game, especially since a lot of games are played in the afternoon while I'm at work. (laughs) For any baseball fan, I would encourage you to install these two apps, MLB at bat and MILB first pitch for iOS or Android. The MLB at bat app (laughs) will give you access to all the latest news from the major leagues, detailed team information, statistics, and of course, the latest scores. For a subscription fee, you can listen and or watch any major league game live or on demand. Now the MILB first pitch app gives you the same access as the MLB one, except it's for the minor leagues. You can follow your local team. There is also a subscription fee to watch minor league games via the app, but here's a neat thing. You can use TuneIn to listen to most minor league games, including the Oklahoma City Dodgers and Tulsa Drillers. Speaking of those two teams, did you know Oklahoma has a rich history when it comes to baseball? There's a fascinating article about it in the Encyclopedia of Oklahoma History and Culture by the Oklahoma Historical Society. I'll have a link to it in the show notes. The first organized baseball game in Indian Territory was played on uh, July 4th, 1882 in Krebs. To quote the article, a crowd of 300 gathered to watch Krebs host nearby Savannah. Using sacks of hay and cans for bases, the game included fan violence, gambling, and anguish for the Krebs catcher who played without a glove or mask. Krebs prevailed 35 to 4. <laughs> Between 1904 and 1960, Oklahoma had 37 towns with professional baseball teams. Now we're basically down to two. The Oklahoma City Dodgers and the Tulsa Drillers. Both of these teams are affiliates of the Major League Los Angeles Dodgers. The Tulsa Drillers are a double-A team and the Oklahoma City Dodgers are triple-A. So there's a good chance someone you watch play in Oklahoma City could be called up to play in Los Angeles and be that next Hall of Famer. Oklahoma and baseball just go together. So please, go out and watch a game or two this season. Support your local team and players. This week's Blog Oklahoma writing suggestion is to share your love of baseball. I look forward to reading it. Are you someone who blogs in or about Oklahoma? then you already qualify for WebRing membership. Join Blog Oklahoma today. Want to know more about Blog Oklahoma? Then just explore the WebRing and discover some of the best blogs and podcasts in the nation. Just visit blogoklahoma.com for more information. I've been playing around with a new social network this past week called Mastodon. Mastodon is a free and open source social network. It works much like Twitter, except it doesn't have a 140 character limit, isn't owned by a corporation, and is decentralized. Anyone can launch a Mastodon server or instance, and anyone who signs up on that server can communicate with all the other Mastodon servers in the form of one federated open network. It's been really interesting to see how well this works. 
I hope one day to dig into the source code, but uh, that's going to have to wait for another time. The current Mastodon interface is much like a tweet deck, but I have to say it's a little bit clunky on how it's laid out and how it functions. But it's new, and I'm sure improvements will roll out over time. If you're interested in yet another social network, I'm on the Mastodon.cloud instance. From there, you can find out more about Mastodon. And please feel free to follow me at Program Witch. I'll have a link to it in the show notes with all this information. And please, if you do join, let me know what you think about Mastodon. No top five this week. I thought since it's baseball season, I'd share something really fun. One of the greatest comedy routines ever. Abbott and Costello's Who's On First. This is a recording from a radio program from way back in 1944. If you'd like to listen to the entire program, you can on archive.org. I'll have a link to it in the show notes. So without further ado, here's Abbott and Costello. Well, Costello, I'm going to New York with you. You know, Bucky Harris, the Yanks manager, gave me a job as coach for as long as you're on the team. Look, Abbott, if you're a coach, you must know all the players. I certainly do. Well, you know, I, mean, I never met the guys, so you'll have to tell me their names, and then I'll know who's playing on the team. Oh, I'll, I'll tell you their names, but you know, strange it may seem, they give these ball players nowadays very peculiar names. Mean, funny names? Strange names, pet names, like Dizzy Dean and... His brother Daffy. Daffy Dean. I'm their French cousin. French? Gouffet. Gouffet Dean. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, let's see, we have on the bags, we have who's on first, what's on second, I don't know who's on third. That's what I want to find I out. I say, who's on first, what's on second, I don't know who's on third. Are you the manager? Yes. You're going to be the coach, too? Yes. And you know the fellow's name? Oh, I should. Well, then who's on first? Yes. I mean, the fellow's name. Who? The guy on first. Who? The first base. Who? The guy playing first. Who is on first? I'm asking you who's on first. That's the man's name. That's whose name? Yes. Well, go ahead and tell me. That's it. That's who? Yes. (laughs) You got a first baseman? Certainly. Who's playing first? That's right. When you pay off the first baseman every month, who gets the money? Every dollar of it. (laughs) All I'm trying to find out is the fellow's name on first base. Who? The guy that gets the money. That's it. Who gets the money on first base? He does. Every dollar. Sometimes his wife comes down and collects it. Who's what? Yes. Look, all I want to know is when you sign up the first baseman, how does he sign his name to the Who? contract? The guy. Who? How does he sign his That's name? That's how he signs it. Who? Yes. All I'm trying to find out is what's the guy's name on first base? No, what is on second base? I'm not asking you who's on second. Who's on first? One base at a time. Well, don't change the players. I'm not changing nobody. Take it easy, buddy. I'm only asking you who's the guy on first base? That's right. Okay. All right. <laughs> What is on second? I'm not asking you who's on second. Who's on first? I don't know. Oh, he's on third. We're not talking about him. (laughs) How did I get on third base? Why, you mentioned his name. If I mentioned a third baseman's name, who did I say is playing third? No, who's playing first? What's on first? What's on second? I don't know. He's on first. Then I go back on third again. No. Now, who's playing third base? Why do you insist on putting who on third base? What am I putting on third? Uh, what is on second? You don't want who on second. Who is on first? I don't know. Third base? <laughs> well, you got outfield? Sure. The left fielder's name. Why? I just thought I'd ask. Well, I just thought I'd tell you. Then tell me who's playing left field. Who is playing first? I'm not staying on any infield. <laughs> I want to know what's the guy's name in left field. No, what is on second? I'm not asking you who's on who's second. Who's on first? I don't know. Third base? <laughs> Oh, he's center field. <laughs> look, look, look. You got a pitcher on the team? Sure. The pitcher's name? Tamara. You don't want to tell me today? I'm telling you, then man. Go ahead. Tamara. What time? What time what? What time tomorrow? you going to tell me who's pitching? Now, listen. Who is not pitching? I'll who? break your arm, you say. Who's on second? I want to know what's the pitcher's name. What's on second? I don't know. Go ahead. Tomorrow's pitch. Now you've got it. All we got is a couple of days on the team. Come on, the catcher, too. No, they don't. I can be hired to play through some fancy catching. Tomorrow's pitching on my team, and a heavy hitter gets up. Yes. Now, the heavy hitter busts the ball. When he busts the ball, me being a good catcher, I'm going to throw the guy out of first base, so I pick up the ball and throw it to who? Now, that's the first thing you've said right. I don't even know what I'm talking about. All you have to do is to throw the ball of first base. Yes. Now, who's got it? Naturally. <laughs> Somebody's got to get it. Now, who has it? Naturally. Who? Naturally. Naturally? Naturally. 
So why pick up the ball and I throw it to Natural? No, you don't. You throw the ball to who? Natural. That's the. That's what I said. You're not saying that. I throw the ball to Natural. You throw it to who? Natural. That's it. That's what I said. That's it. You ask me. I throw the ball to who? Naturally. Now you ask me. You throw the ball to who? Naturally. That's it. Same as you. Same as you. I throw the ball to who? Whoever it is drops the ball and the guy runs a second. Yes. Who picks up the ball and throws it to what? What throws it to? I don't know. I don't know. Throws it back to tomorrow. Triple play. Yes. Another guy gets up and it's a long fly ball to be caught. Why? I don't know. He's on third and I don't give a darn. What? I said I don't give a darn. Oh, that's our shortstop. I mean, <laughs> Did you know we have our own cafe press store? There you could purchase a t-shirt, coffee mug, tote bag, and other great items with the Blog Oklahoma podcast artwork on it. So please head on over to cafepress.com slash blog Oklahoma podcast. I've added even more great music to the Blog Oklahoma bonus playlist on Spotify. There is now well over 20 hours of music for you to enjoy. So please click on the playlist Hit random, and you'll just have a blast. <laughs> I'll have a link to it and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. And thank you for listening to the Blog Oklahoma podcast. I'm happy to announce as of April 9th, 2017, Blog Oklahoma has 712 registered Oklahoma bloggers. Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can hold me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time.